It's Friday, so it's time once again to introduce you to another one of our Friday's friends. Joining us this morning, our constant friend from the Humane Society of West Michigan, their executive director, Holly Guild. Hi, Holly. Good morning. How are you guys? Great. How are you? Happy Friday. Yeah, isn't it so nice out? Oh, my goodness. Fantastic. Especially for all your little volunteers there to take the animals dog out. Walking. For, yeah, yeah, some dog walking. Good dog kind of walking day. weather. Hey, you got new hours. We do. So super exciting. This week we opened back up for walk-ins. We have been operating for adoptions by appointment only all since March. Um, and so Tuesday we reopened to the public so people do not have to make an appointment. If they want to adopt, they can just stop on out. Um, we do, we're using the Wait While app, which is pretty cool um, to help control the number of people in the building. But uh, people have not been having to wait and um, I think it's just a lot easier. And we've been sending a lot more animals home that way, which is That's awesome. So good right there to hear that the you, you've worked it out. We found out how we can just swing by. And you say there's an app that people can use so they don't have to, to wait. To, is this something they have to download? Yeah, so when they get here, we check them in through the Wait While app. And then if there's too many people in the building and they have to wait, um, it'll automatically like send them a text uh, when it's their turn to come in. So it's pretty cool. That's it. You don't have to download an app. They'll just text you, let you know when it's your turn. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, perfect. And uh, adopt a senior pet month with you guys. Yes, so November is Adopt a Senior Pet Month. We call them our silver paws animals, and they are always fee waived, not just this month, but all year long. So um, cats over 10 and dogs over seven. Seniors are my absolute favorite. Like they're so easy usually to adopt and just integrate right into your home. They already like have their manners down and their house broken and litter box trained and they're through all the you know puppy kitten craziness. So um, a senior animal is a really good choice for a lot of people. And a 10 year old cat is nothing. I have a cat that's 17 and one that's 11, and they're not <laughs> slowing down anytime soon. So, Plus, exactly. Yeah. And not, not only, Holly, you make such a good point. Not only are they already tr usually trained and, and all that puppy craziness that you don't have to deal with, but it's, it's easier or more common to hear puppies getting adopted because they're cute, yes. mm -hmm. you know, and, and all that sort of Their thing. Work. So, don't forget yeah. about those senior pets. All right, what about, what do we got? Tiki? Tiki was the, the animal that we saw in that picture, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Tiki came to us when she was 14 and was ab actually adopted by one of our staff members. 14. But um, we do we get some pretty old um, even we even do hospice adoptions sometimes. Mm -hmm. And for some people, like that's their thing. They want to give an animal at the very end of their life the best the best time ever and and mm -hmm. check everything off their bucket list. That's, so that's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And then your featured pet, though, is Crash. Crash. You see his fat little face. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so Crash is 11 years old. Um, he is awesome. He's so friendly and so social. He's very playful. Um, he could use a little bit of a diet. Cats are really hard to put on diets and they need to lose weight very slowly and carefully. Um, but he's super handsome and he does like to play. So that helps with weight loss. Um, if you can play with your cat 10 or 15 minutes a day, even with a laser pointer or a wand toy, um, that helps a lot. It helps them get some exercise and, and that helps with their slow, steady weight loss, which is what our kitties need. Then, you know, I'm not much of a cat person, I'm more of a dog person, mm -hmm. but that, that appeals to me. The, the ability to play with my cat means I'm on my couch with a laser pointer. <laughs> I like that. Don't even, have to get, don't even have to get It really up. doesn't take I'm, much, I'm honestly. I'm exercising my cat. <laughs> hey, fostering, by the way, is another big deal, too. That saves lives. Even if you can't adopt, you can always foster. So let's, let's get people, if you're interested in supporting the Humane Society, either by fostering or adopting, this is a great time, especially for those senior pets this month. Let's get people there. 616-453-8900. If you want to see Crash's fat face in person, <laughs> chunk of hunk kind of, of burden, want to, yeah. burden and love. And I want to see this guy. All you have to do is follow him on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, too. Holly, thank you again for the time.